We learned this week of the passing of Maine native, a uh, Maine native most of us had never heard about before. Chuck Peddle went to school here, but he lived most of his 82 years working in California. A pioneer in the computer business, he's being hailed as the father of the personal computer all over the world. News Center Maine's Don Kerrigan has much more on his story tonight. Charles Chuck Peddle was a kid from Augusta, from a family of five children on a farm. Today, that land is a strip mall. There were four boys and me. His sister, Marty Ferber, says her brother Chuck was destined to do big things. I know he caused some frustration for some math teachers because he saw problems quicker using different methods than the prescribed methods. He graduated from Coney High School, then from the College of Engineering at the University of Maine. Would you call him in his field a visionary? Very much. I would. I would, oh, for sure. And in 1982, that vision led Chuck Peddle to develop a new low-cost microprocessor, the brains of the computer, that made small home computers affordable. His chip was used in the successful Apple II computers and the Commodores and helped to launch a whole industry. And it, it revolutionized the world. The world, didn't it? it right. really it, The world is absolutely correct. Dr. Dana Humphrey is dean of the UMaine College of Engineering. Other people, well-known names like Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, Bill Gates, built on Chuck Peddle's work. And today, when we use a personal computer, anytime we use a gaming system, we should be thinking of the fundamental work done by Chuck Peddle that allows us to have those devices. Marty and her brother Doug say Chuck did become a celebrity in the tech world, but never made the billions of dollars that Gates and Jobs and other computer pioneers did. And he never had an interest in the software. That was, that was up to Bill Gates and to those people, you know. His, that was not his interest. His interest was how do you keep making this better? And he kept working at it until shortly before his death just two weeks ago at age 82. Peddle was given an award for his career last spring at the university, hinting at what might be coming next. In the next couple of years, I hope to replace your hard disk and your PC with one of my new products, which is, <laughs> which is faster and better. His family thinks others will carry on that work. And despite all the national publicity this week about Chuck Peddle's career, his sister and brother say they remember him for his humanity. But I think his biggest legacy is how we treated people hmm. and how kind he was to people. Both legacies from a life well lived. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.